production possibility curve can either swivel or have a parallel rightward or leftward shift. In this clip I'm going to explain to you if there is a parallel shift to the right of your PPC curve. On the board you note that I'm having a PPC curve where we produce quantity of blankets, quantity of pillows. And given our inputs, we are able to manufacture 50 pillows, but that implies that we have zero blankets that we are manufacturing. Or alternatively, we can max manufacture five blankets, but then that implies zero pillows. But when the production possibility curve shifts parallel to the right or parallel outwards, it implies that my PPC curve changes from PPC to PPC1. This parallel outward shift of the PPC curve indicates then to us that we are able to manufacture more of both the products. In terms of pillows, if we compare the original PPC curve, we are able to manufacture maximum 50 pillows. But with PPC curve number one, what do we find here? That the quantity of pillows has increased from 50 to 70. On the horizontal axis, we also note that the quantity of blankets has changed from five blankets to approximately seven blankets. So when the production possibility curve shifts rightwards or outwards, it implies then that we are able to manufacture more of both these products. But what enables us then to produce more of these? It might be first of all that the production technique for both blankets as well as pillows has improved. You might also find that the labor productivity of the workers have improved. And thirdly, it might also be that we have employed more labor to produce larger quantities of these two products. Once again, this outward shift of the PPC curve also represents economic growth. At point A, on the original curve, we are, for argument's sake, able to produce 40 pillows and three blankets. But if we compare it with point B on PPC curve number one, then you will note that at point B, we are able to manufacture five blankets, but perhaps 52 pillows. Similarly, point C on the original PPC curve represents then 25 pillows and four blankets. But if we compare point C with point D on the new PPC curve, then we note at point D, we are able to manufacture 30 pillows and six blankets. So points F, B, D, and E, which all lies on my PPC1 curve, which is to the right of the original PPC curve, represents then economic growth. But at the same time, if the PPC curve shifts parallel inwards, which implies moving from PPC1, the blue curve in the diagram, to the black curve in the diagram, then we find that inward shift of the PPC curve we experience negative economic growth or a decrease in economic growth.
because with a black PPC curve, you find now that we are employing less workers. The productivity of labor has changed, and you might also find that there might be a point where the production technique of producing both blankets and pillows is outdated.